Hey Taylor Superstars, welcome to Fearless Friday. I wanted to talk about um, the fourth chapter in my book, which is what does fear cost you? So um, when I work with riders, um, they're so focused on their fear and they're so focused on um, how bad it is and so focused on how scared they are. They forget to get annoyed about it. They forget to draw that line in the sand and say enough's enough. Um, normally actually they kind of have done that, hence why they're coming to see me. But the riders that are affected by this and maybe haven't got to their point, I kind of need to push them to that point. You need to realise how much fear is costing you. Fear, like just think, just close your eyes and answer this question. What would your riding be like if you had no fear? And if you get an answer, there's a problem. So I don't have an answer to what would your writing be like if you had no fear. Um, but if you get an answer, if you're like, well, I would be entering competitions or I would be cantering alone or I would be going out of the arena to ride or I would be riding out with people or I would um, be riding if it's windy. If you have an answer there, then rather than just be that's the answer, think about what that costs you. Think about how much you're missing out on. If you're not entering the competition, well, how does that affect you? And how does that, um, how does that suck? And how is that bad? Um, and if you go, it's not bad, I'm I don't want to compete, then it's not a problem for you. And then it's fine, your fear's working for you. Um, but most people realise, oh God, it's costing me everything. It's costing me the chance to shine. It's costing me the opportunity to grow. It's costing me um, the opportunity to be better and to, to improve and actually get the goals that I want in writing. Because us humans are funny. We might have a goal to, let's say, um, compete advanced, um, but yet we've got this fear that won't let us go out and compete in prelim. So I always say you can have your fear or you can have your dreams, but you can't have both. And it's just, that's just how life works. Have your fear or have your dreams. It's impossible to have both. You can't keep your fear and hope to get your dream. It doesn't work like that. Um, so that's fine. People go, oh, you know, I don't want to overcome my fear. That's fine. You won't get your dreams. And if you're willing to pay that price, that's how much fear costs you. Fear costs you your dreams. And if you're cool with that, then it's okay. Be cool with that. But for me, I'm, my dreams are worth fighting for. For me, my dreams are my life. For me, I want to live the most extraordinary, passionate, exciting, most elaborate life I can lead. So fear has no place. And please don't think I'm not human. I feel fear every goddamn second of every goddamn day. Um, that is being human. Fear is a very natural response. Fear, there's, there's, you know, we talked about it earlier, there's rational fear. If I'm standing on the top of the Empire State Building without any harness and I'm looking down, I should feel scared. I could die. Um, but if I'm riding a horse that's been proven to not do anything wrong and it's really, really quiet, um, it's not rational to have fear. So I would really like you guys to think about this week for Phyllis Friday, what's fear costing you? Because if it is costing your dreams, that's not cool. Remember, Fearless Riding Success, the audio book will be ready um, early December. So anyone who joins the Fearless Mastery Program for just a dollar in the month of November is going to get my free four chapters of the audio book, which includes the chapter I just talked about, um, What Does Fear Cost You? So if you're interested in getting those first four audio chapters for free, check out fearlessridingsuccess.com. I would love to support you in the program. I've just been at Equitana and had so many people come up and say thank you so much. They're riding now, they're enjoying their riding, they're cantering, they're entering competitions, whatever it is for them. And um, I've just had so many hugs and so much love. So I know this program works. I know it helps you overcome your fear. Um, and it's just really the question to you guys. Are you ready to overcome your fear? Yeah.